Hola, bienvenido a la Ciudad de México. We are from here at the beautiful Mexico City Arena for today's matchup between the Las Vegas Silver Stars and the Mexico City Guerreros. So glad that you could join us today here on the Coliseum Sports Network for our first Western Conference matchup of week two. As two teams are coming in ready to get another win here in this short 10 game season. Las Vegas coming off of a, a win over Alaska where they really ratcheted things up in the fourth quarter led by Blake Griffin in Mexico City and during a very close overtime loss at Seattle and then making some major changes during the week leading up to this game. Now you may notice that the starting lineups were the same for Mexico City compared to last week. The real changes were made on the bench and we'll introduce you to some of those changes and let you know the reasonings behind some of them as the game progresses. In the meantime, Mexico City wins the tip and we're underway south of the border. So glad you could join us here on the Coliseum Sports Network. I'm Raymond Sims. And hopefully we'll be watching a exciting game today between two Western Conference foes. Here's Scola facing up against Blake Griffin. His first shot doesn't go. Las Vegas out on the run. Granger pulls up, jumper is good. 30 seconds in and Las Vegas will strike first. Rubio gets it down low. Scola, turnaround jumper is good. So while Scola could get the first shot, he was able to knock down the second one and Mexico City themselves on the board. Westbrook utilizes the screen and misses. Garcia in the corner. And can't convert. Griffin with the rebound. Westbrook puts up another three. That one goes. Five two here in the opening minutes. Regular season game number six for the CBL. Pass underneath to Ione. He was wide open. Just a huge defensive lapse. That's the type of laps that you see in the pickup game and your friend's upset and you're just asking whose man is that and the answer at least to that one was Roy Hibbert who shaded too far up the key ended up leaving his man open Here's Griffin with the ball on the baseline kicks it out Williams launches no good Rubio under the rim able to pull up the board and now he's one of the first guys ahead Hands it over to Smart. Smart will go past Granger and lay it in. Mexico City takes the lead. Out pops Westbrook. Long two. Can't convert. Now they're Smart. Just like that, he's one of the first guys ahead. Ahead to Garcia, and he'll lay it in. Mexico City running the floor here very well in the early going. Well, Las Vegas has settled for outside shots so far. Tries to get into Griffin, so they were going to try to go inside. And then it doesn't work out on that possession. Guerrero's up the floor, works it over to Smart. Stopped on the block. Is he going to force the issue here? Posting up against Lou Will. Shoots over. No good. Rebound Scola as he tries to put it back. Blocked by Griffin. He'll get a second shot and he'll convert and he'll get the opportunity for the foul shot. First foul on Griffin. Luis Scola. A huge get here for Lawrence Booth and the Mexico City Guerreros out of Argentina. He'll be with the Raptors this coming season. And he's able to complete the three-point play. So Mexico City out to a six-point lead. 9-0 run here for the Guerreros. Here 
coach recognizes that and he'll call timeout. So 11 to five, the Guerrero is getting out ahead quickly with 8.38 left in the first quarter. Ladies and gentlemen, this is shaping up to be a good game. So if you want more of this CBL action, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the Coliseum Sports Network. You can also check out any games you missed on the Coliseum Basketball League 2015 playlist on the Coliseum Sports Network. All the games in one place. Five so far. Here's number six. And here come the Guerreros ahead on the fast break. And Ione essentially finishes off the fast break with a slam. But Hibbert's hand was there too. I Ion taking it with him. So that is technically a goaltending. But still, the run has not been stopped. It's 11 0 now. Here against the Silver Stars. They can't get anything going just yet. That's Griffin for the long two. No good. And Ion with the rebound. Here come the Guerreros the other way. This is the Rubio. That one went into traffic, but it worked. Rubio goes inside and kicks it back out. In the corner, Smart knocks down the three. Fourteen oh run. Tried to force it into traffic again. Rubio in the corner to Smart again. You cannot duplicate the previous possession. There's a pass inside, converting. Hibbert able to get it on the bounce and lay it in. So after 14 unanswered, Las Vegas able to respond with two points of their own. They're down nine, and Rubio can't change that. Griffin tried to get the outlet pass to Westbrook, and Scola wouldn't even allow that. Active hands here for Mexico City. Away comes Granger, and who will doesn't do much with it. Now he finally gets it to him. It looks like he had to cart it over to him, but Granger able to get the ball and do something with it as he'll knock down his own three. And now Las Vegas has answered back with five of their own. So it's back to a six point margin. Not too out of hand anymore for the Silver Stars. They nip that in the bud. Smart corner three. Good from three once again. Let's see if the Silver Stars remember to start closing out on him more often. Granger tries to answer back with a three of his own. He does. So Danny Granger having a say in the matter. Says the Guerreros aren't getting away that easy. Down low to Scola. Step back jumper over Griffin. And Granger all over the place here in the first quarter. He's kept the Silver Stars in this off of his three of three shooting. To get the board. Up top, Granger thought about shooting it again. He'll give it to Lou Will instead, and he'll sink the three from straight away. Back to a three point deficit for Las Vegas. And you see there an 11 3 run. After the Guerreros reeled off 14 straight. So basketball, definitely a game of runs. Don't let anybody tell you different. Ball to Scola on the elbow. Up top, Smart. He's trying to go to work. Mid-range jumper's good. So for the Guerreros, it's pretty much been the Marcus Smart show. Not that anybody else's services has really been needed. He scored almost half of the team's 21 points, which you can't split an uneven number in basketball. Another turnover. Can the Guerreros get ahead fast enough? No! Chase down block as Granger denies Garcia. And Mexico City not able to recover on the second chance opportunity. 
So it's a five point game here for Las Vegas. Granger has open lanes and he'll sail in and draw the foul. Let's take a look at that on replay. Danny Granger still capable of doing a lot of things. So at first it seemed like a dangerous proposition to leave him alone out on the three point line. But Granger decides to go in anyways and he's still successful. So some substitutions made here, 420 left in the first quarter as Granger makes the free throw and it seems like a good a time as any to talk about him. Calderon up the floor, oh the pass intended for a new acquisition, Shannon Brown. And that will be a, a turnover, almost instantly, not a good sign. Las Vegas made some major changes coming off of their overtime loss at Seattle. Lawrence Booth in the front office deciding that they didn't need the four point guards on their roster and that's four point guards not even counting Marcus Smart who is the starting uh, shooting guard. I'm sorry, shooting guard as opposed to point guard. So Archie Goodwin, Will Barton, and John Jenkins were all let go and replacing them Shannon Brown and Jeremy Lamb. Josh Hustis was also released and in his place Perry Jones the third comes into the fold from the Boston Celtics and then for that extra spot that was given up Kwame Brown signs with the Mexico City Guerreros so Lawrence Brown happy with the guys he's picked up was able to add them make the Mexico City Guerreros a little more well-rounded as a team still dynamic point guards on the bench Jeremy Lamb and Shannon Brown both out here on the floor you have some post help in Kwame Brown, who while he didn't live up to his number one overall billing, has still made a good career in the NBA as a serviceable uh, postman. Then you have Perry Jones, who provides a little more length and a less wild three-point shot than Josh Hustis did, who went one for six in that loss to Seattle. Perry Jones compared to Josh Hustis, doesn't shoot the three at all. In the meantime, here's Anthony Bennett missing the shot underneath as the second units for both sides are seeking to extend the lead or close the margin, depending on which faction they're with. But Jeremy Lamb goes in and is able to make it a six point game for Mexico City with two and a half left in the first. Jordan Adams puts up the shot, misses. That's a loose ball foul. Presumably on James Ennis, it is. Two twenty-six left in the first quarter. The Guerreros ahead here. Trying out their new toys in Kwame Brown, Jeremy Lamb, and Shannon Brown. We'll see Perry Jones later, presumably. Calderon can't convert on the shot. Go ahead to C.J. Watson. He's used to orange. He went to the University of Tennessee. Step back jumper in front of the three-point line. No good. Shannon Brown picks up the board. Jeremy Land tries to go to work with, with some fancy moves and ends up drawing the reach-in foul. That's number two on Ennis. So Greg Oden quickly out. Lou Amundsen will come in. They'll just chance it with the two fouls on Ennis here early on with 149 left in the first. Calderon with it. We retreat to the point. Ball to Lamb. That should be a two if it's good. And it is. Eight point lead for Mexico City. One and a half left in the first. Long range shot good by C.J. Watson. And that will keep Las Vegas within a close range here as they close out the first quarter. Don't want to lose momentum and let this get out of control. Lamb can't get the three in the corner and the outstretched arms and C.J. Watson get the rebound. Here's Ennis. He'll pull up from mid range and he'll, let, he'll make them pay because Perry Jones, who was down there on the block, just decided not to not to pick him up. Perhaps thinking he was going to attack the basket, and and it's thought otherwise. So Perry Jones is in the game, just entering. 
just like that all four of the new acquisitions have gotten some playing time here very early on in the game and Jones picking up the rebound playing or the alum from Baylor traded to the Celtics works around the horn to the former Thunder teammate he himself sent off and traded to the Hornets Watson stops outside the post he'll try to attack some more and then he just loses the ball on the way up it's probably last touch on Calderon it is So that fourth point guard, Ian Clark, just to finish up the story, as I said, Barton, Goodwin, and Jenkins were let go. And instead of Clark, Hustis was let go. Ian Clark is now the inactive 13 member, 13th member of the team. So we'll see more of him down the line. But in the meantime, Mexico City doing just fine with the new guys they got. And as they're able to hang on to a three-point lead here, heading into the second quarter. This is CBL Basketball on the Coliseum Sports Network. Welcome back to Mexico City, the first game of basketball in the North American-based professional league for the first uh, game for a team south of the border since 1994. The CBA's Mexico City Aztecas, not a well-run team, only lasted a year there in 94. There have been games in Mexico City since then. As a matter of fact, the Rockets and Timberwolves played here last season in this very arena, and the NBA is scheduling more games here in the spacious MCA for the 2015-16 campaign. In the meantime, though, the Guerreros will play five. This is the first of five home games this year. And we start off the second quarter in this arena with a Calderon steal, and he's able to finish off with a fast break lane. Five-point game. Floater by Watson is good as he's able to sail in. Here's Darius Miller in the game. Ball reversed around to Shannon Brown and able to knock down the three. Shannon Brown, after 11 years in the NBA, he's a free agent. Played only the, uh, five games last year with Miami before being cut there in late November. Going through the wires, I hadn't heard much of any uh, interest in him, but you never know. I feel like he still has some good years left in him. And he's here in Mexico City showing that. But we'll find out if it's a wrap on a career for Shannon Brown. In the meantime, for the rest of the game, 32 to 26 with 10.45 left in the second quarter. Well, there's a few starters coming back in the game, namely Griffin and Westbrook. You see Scola there. Lou Amason inbounding the ball to Watson. Watson, free reign in the lane, able to draw the foul. It'll be the first on Calderon. Jay Watson, undrafted out of Tennessee, he started his career with the Golden State Warriors. He'll be an Orlando Magic player this coming season. He makes the first free throw. Even though it wasn't particular, even though teams don't have a set theme in this league, you do notice a lot of parallels to the, where the team is based. In the case of the Las Vegas Silver Stars, fair amount of UNLV guys, a lot of West Coast. Southern California guys, and of course, Las Vegas is well represented on this roster. You have CJ Watson, who himself is from Las Vegas, and is able to knock down the second free throw. Lou Amundsen and Anthony Bennett going to UNLV. You have guys from California like James Ennis. You have the Clippers superstar, Blake Griffin, Russell Westbrook, also from Los Angeles, through and through. So a lot of parallels here that you can find in terms of regional teams. In the case of the Mexico City Guerreros, 
It's the five Hispanic players on the roster, including Ricky Rubio, who pulls up for the jumper and misses, and Lee Scola from Argentina, who's not able to pull down the rebound. Number three being native Mexican Gustavo Ayon. Francisco Garcia from the Dominican Republic. Griffin lays it in and lays out Scola, who's able to get up just fine. And Jose Calderon from Spain. I'm sitting here looking through my notes like, wait, who's the fifth one? Here's Marcus Smart pulls up in the post, hands it off to Perry Jones. Thirty-four, thirty. Mexico City just hanging on there. Las Vegas is not out of it, not by a long shot, but they haven't been able to turn the corner just yet on offense or defense. Get that lead back. And they were ahead there for a little while as Watson overthrows Ennis. Two more substitutions here. As both sides get all of their starters back in. 9.22 left in the second quarter, so we'll see if both Vegas coach Diedrich Frazier and Mexico City coach Lawrence Booth, if they're just going to ride these lineups out until the half. Rubio kicks it over to Smart. A couple of good things have happened there in that corner, but Smart works his way into the post instead. Posting up Williams and can't get the shot off the backboard. Banks closed here in Mexico City, apparently, at least for the possession. Williams works his way inside, down to Hibbert. He'll just hook it over Ion. Without little issue, and Las Vegas back within two. 8.40 left in the second quarter. Guerrero's holding a slight advantage in the paint. Nothing to go crazy about. Smart, the long two, able to convert it. First points of the quarter. Five of eight from the field. Williams, on the other hand, not as potent from the field. He's still not afraid to put it up. Here's Granger, dips it down to Griffin, back out Westbrook. That creates enough space to get the shot off. Just not able to finish the job, and that's the fourth board by Luis Scola. Cross-court pass to Smart. Good closeout by Williams. Smart tries to attack the basket anyways. Gets past Williams on his offside, and then hands it off to Scola, who draws the foul on Hibbert. And that's Hibbert's first. Luis Scola, 12 points, 9 boards. In that game against Seattle. One of the few players to have a positive plus minus, considering it was a loss. Had a positive plus minus of 1. Ruby, on the other hand, had a plus minus of 3. So both guys have been able to contribute well to this team. Gustavo Ayon also had a positive one. So the headliners of this franchise here to really sell it down here in Mexico were able to contribute despite it being a losing effort. Westbrook pulls up for mid-range and pulled down by Smart. Smart will hand it off to Scola, let him go to work. He'll get it to Garcia instead. Don't have enough space, so they'll bring it back out to the perimeter. Bounce pass down low on the back door, cut to Scola. Good vision there by Marcus Smart, and the lead is ballooned back to seven. Silver Stars thought they were able to lull the Guerreros into conceding their lead, and then all of a sudden, Mexico City's back up ahead. Lou Williams tries to do something about it, misses offensive board by Hibbert. So we'll see if the Silver Stars can take advantage of their second chance. Williams will just put up the three again. Second time's a charm. Closes the gap back to four. It's been a roller coaster of, the, of a game, but 
mostly because the Guerreros have been able to hang on even in the face of the Silver Stars offensive barrage. 39-35, 6-37 left in the second quarter here on the Coliseum Sports Network. We have a good game going here in Mexico City. If you want to see more of that, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the Coliseum Sports Network YouTube channel. We're in our sixth game of 40 regular season games here on this Coliseum Sports Network for the CBL. And if you want to watch any of the past five, you can check out the Coliseum Basketball League 2015 playlist. Particularly, I think fans will enjoy the last game, 119-117 thriller. Kansas City over Omaha on the road. Shot missed, and here comes Las Vegas. They're down by four. Oh, stolen. Here comes Mexico City the other way. Can they finish the fast break? The behind-the-back pass to Marcus Smart. Finishes with the nice layup. And Mexico City ahead by six. Just under six minutes before the half. Westbrook pulls up on him. Misses off the heel of the rim. And Griffin able to save. But into the hands of Ione. So here's Smart pulling the ball up the court. And he'll return the favor. But Rubio can't finish at the rim. You got to love when teammates do that for each other at least. And on the bright side for Smart and Rubio, at least they'll be able to try again. As Lou Williams can't control the ball, and he en ends up stepping out of bounds during his attempt to corral it. Here's Smart up top. Out comes Ion on the screen. And Smart will pull up. And he'll knock down the jumper, eight points. Or an eight-point lead, rather. 16 points, double, so double that eight. For Marcus Smart, he's been on an offensive tear here in the first half. Here's Westbrook. He has an open lane, able to go inside. He bumps his defender and is able to draw the foul. So Marcus Smart was trying to do the best he could to stop the freight train that is Russell Westbrook, and he just couldn't do it. So Westbrook goes to the line for the opportunity to shoot one more. Close game through three quarters thanks to Alaska's tight defense, but in the end, Las Vegas was able to make slight work of the Alaska Glacier Bears, 92-73 up in Anchorage. 16 points, four rebounds, nine assists, four steals from Russell Westbrook in that game, and he's able to finish off the and one opportunity. 4.48 left in the second. Smart drives the lane off the pick and roll. So apparently this has become a basket attack off between two ball handling guards, Westbrook and Smart, because here's Westbrook again. He was going to try to go for it, but he was stopped. Bounce pass to Hibbert, deflected. Rubio trying to get ahead up the floor. Bounce pass ahead to Garcia, and he'll miss. Ion pulls down the offensive board, goes back up, and is able to lay it in. 47-38, 4 11 left in the second quarter. And Williams able to knock down the long two. Scola instantly inbounding. Smart trying to work his way inside. Shovel pass ahead to Scola. He'll get the shot and the foul. And Mexico City will have the opportunity to go up by 10. Scola was iffy at the line against Seattle, 2 of 5 from the charity stripe. And can't finish it off here. So no 10-point lead for Mexico City, at least for the time being. They can extend it to more here on this possession off the miss by Granger. Smart almost loses the ball. Works up top to the point. 
Here's Scola. Down below to Brown. Oh, and he almost had the opportunity to take the ball, go up, and lay it in. But Odin rushes in. Ball deflects off of him. And Mexico City will have the ball inbounded under the basket. Smart. We'll get the shot off the inbound. It's an 11-point game. So while Kwame Brown wasn't able to do it, Marcus Smart is, and Smart has 20. 51-40 in timeout called by Diedrich Frazier. As his team has fallen too far behind here. 308 left in the second quarter. Wait left in the second quarter. Odin inbounds to Granger. Here's Westbrook. He'll pull up from the outside and miss. Brown with the rebound. Here's Rubio. Stopped by Westbrook. He'll pull up from the free throw line and miss. Rebound after a couple of taps into the hands of Las Vegas. Westbrook tries to float it in and blocked by Garcia. Two and a half left here in the second. Spin move by Rubio and he just, he spun like a top on his way out of bounds. But the refs will say that Westbrook had a hand in that by escorting Escorting him out, so the Guerreros will inbound it from the sideline. Here's Kwame Brown. Gets it over to Brandon Davies. Tries to pass it to Rubio, almost loses it. Rubio trying to work his way inside. Underneath, Brown tries to pump fake, goes to work over Odin and can't convert. It's five on four right now as Brown's on the other end and Granger's able to get it in. Davies quickly inbounds it. Up top, Brown. Works it over to Rubio. Now it's Smart hanging out in the corner. Tries to hesitate and dribble his way out of it and ends up losing the ball off of Lou Williams. So Mexico City will keep the ball, actually. But Smart will not be receiving it. He'll take a breath here. 137 left in the in the first half. Jeremy Lamb will get the inbound instead. Can't convert on the shot. And it went over the rim, so they'll call that out of bounds. Here's Westbrook up top. In the corner, Granger, and he'll knock down the long jumper. It's after being down by as much as 11. Vegas has been able to at least chisel it down to a seven-point deficit here as we close out the first half. Lamb to Rubio. Lamb puts up the three, can't convert. Here's Anthony Bennett bringing up the floor like a point guard. Had a rough start to his career after going number one overall out of UNLV. Looking to turn things around, still playing for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Pass down into the lane, don't know who it was for, so a lot of hands on it, and it ends up into the hands of Mexico City. Ball out to Rubio, up top to Lamb. I'm surprised that Rubio doesn't use his, uh, use his three more often. He had the opportunity, doesn't there, and now he's taking on Odin on a mismatch. Gonna have to put it up over Odin, and that's a block and a shot clock violation, 20.2. Left here in the second quarter. Shot clock is off here. So Las Vegas has the opportunity for the final shot. Las 
Westbrook trying to work his way inside. Jordan Adams, the long shot, almost at the buzzer. 0.8 seconds on the clock. And that'll do it for the quarter. So an interesting first half here that has been competitive, but Mexico City has mostly been in control, and they go into the half ahead 51 to 47. Happy Friday from Mexico City. The hometown Guerrero is ahead 51 to 47. First home game for the Guerreros this season. First time we're in the country of Mexico here on the Coliseum Sports Network. We'll have four more wonderful opportunities. Can't wait. But in the meantime, home team holding serve against a Las Vegas team that was down for much of the game against Alaska last week before pulling ahead in the fourth quarter. So we'll find out how this one unfolds. Here's Williams badly missing the three. Ayon hasn't shot the ball much, but when he has, it's been nothing but net. Ball underneath the Scola, and he'll draw the shooting foul. It's the first one on Granger. Granger's had a lot of floor time. But he's been able to keep his nose clean in terms of fouls. So now as we enter the second half, let's take a look ahead here. The next game for Mexico City will be on the road in Alaska on September 12th. First shot goes up and in. For Vegas, on the other hand, they'll finally get a home game as they will host Seattle on September the 11th. Both of those games, of course, can be seen on the Coliseum Sports Network. And able to get the second shot. So back up to a six-point game. 53-47 with 11-27 left in the third quarter. Westbrook all by himself from mid-range. Can't convert. Rubio hands it off Scola. Bounce pass to Rubio, works it around Garcia. Rubio fighting his way inside, pulls up from the free throw line, and that'll count for two. 55-47, 10-49 left in the third. Guerrero still hovering around 50% from the field. Just over it. Lou Williams, not so much. Rebound by Griffin, kicks it back out. Ball down to Griffin. Back out, Williams. Tries to get it underneath. And Las Vegas has just had trouble getting the ball into the paint and getting the ball to Hibbert. I'm sure he's a man who likes his touches as Smart's able to convert, looking for the foul. But he has 22 points now after scoring 20 in the first half. I'm sure Hibbert is a man that likes to get his touches, but try as the Silver Stars might, they just haven't been able to get it down there. Every time they try to do a post-entry pass to Hibbert, the Guerreros are there with active hands, and they're able to deflect it and usually turn it into a steal. Russell Westbrook hasn't had a day to write home about either. Three of 11 from the field, five turnovers, and only eight points as we begin the second half. So he could very well still end up in double digits, but that box score, that score line is not going to be pretty at all. Ione receives the ball on a handoff here on the perimeter. Gets it back to Rubio, who's gonna have to put up the three, and that goes in. Back up to 11 here in Mexico City. Rubio himself hasn't shot well. But he's tried to contribute when he can, when he can, when he's able to. 909 left in the third quarter. Mexico City ahead 60 to 49. This is the second game of week two, two out of four. Next game up here on the Coliseum Sports Network, we'll see the Alaska Glacier Bears take their shot in Key Arena against the Seattle Emeralds. 
Mexico City was just there. They went to overtime. Seattle won 99-94 in Key Arena. We'll see if the Glacier Bears' hard, hard uh, core defense is able to slow down the M's in any shape, form, or fashion. That'll be tomorrow on the Coliseum Sports Network. The week closes out with Lehigh Valley and London from Cheerio, England. So we've gone international this week. As Mexico City and London, the two international teams have had their first home games. Ball underneath to Rubio, and his shooting woes continue even from close range. Pass ahead to Williams. He'll pull up, and even he can't convert. Rubio's going to try again. He's blocked, so now he's 2 for 10 from the field, shooting 20% people. Not a good day at all here for Ricky Rubio offensively. He's been able to get a couple of steals. He's been able to distribute the ball very well, and that's mostly why they have him on the team. Also in terms of name recognition. But in terms of scoring, which he can contribute, he just hasn't been pretty good today. I think Russell Westbrook has something to do with that. Griffin able to convert the shot, so it's back down to a nine-point game. Timeout called by Lawrence Booth, 60-51 to with 8.05 left in the third quarter. Just a finished uh, point that I was making coming out of the timeout, and I guess it's appropriate since he's about to get the ball. Ricky Rubio, 2 of 10 from the field today. Just a rough day at the office for him in terms of shooting after contributing 19 points in that close game against Seattle. He went 8 of 11 from the field, and nothing's falling today here for Ricky. But he is taking on an MVP candidate, but at the same time, it's not like Rubio or it's not like Russell has had a good day either. So they've essentially been canceling themselves out, which is one of the more astonishing things to see in basketball sometimes when two great players are so great that they cancel out each other's greatness. Blake Griffin draws the foul on Luis Scola, so Griffin will go to the line. 60 to 51 here, seven and a half left in the third quarter. Las Vegas at, at no point has been out of it, but they just haven't been able to turn the corner on offense. We kind of saw this slow to start deal happen at Alaska. Blake Griffin and Russell Westbrook were both largely absent in the first half before they were able to get into another gear and run away with the victory. Like if you look at the final score and you look at the box score, you would have think you would have thought that Vegas was ahead for the entire game. Not the case at all. Alaska held them down very well for three quarters. There's Rubio up top. Shannon Brown in the game. He's going to have to operate. And he's able to scoop it past Granger to lay it in. Back up to a 10-point lead for Mexico City. And now that margin has gotten much bigger used to be a plus six margin for Mexico City in terms of points in the paint and now it's plus 12 as Mexico City has been able to keep Las Vegas out of the paint mostly every time they've tried to get it down to Hibbert for instance they've been able to deflect the ball away and turn it into a turnover and then you have guys like Lou Williams who have to shoot from outside the key to keep Vegas afloat Shannon Brown at the point. Works inside and knocks it in. Producers showing the points in the paint graphic again just to really drive the point home that Mexico City is running away with this. They have been able to get inside the lane with impunity compared to what Las Vegas has been able to do. Here's Garcia, he'll kick it back up top to Rubio. Not a lot of time on the shot clock, not a problem for Shannon Brown. He's 
feeling himself a little bit, has 11 points. So the new acquisition for the front office of the Guerreros is paying off dividends, at least one of them. In terms of Jeremy Lamb and Perry Jones, the two former Thunder players, it's a little too close to call for them. We have to dive into the box score to really get an answer out of that. And then Kwame Brown, he's had a rough go of it offensively under the basket. But otherwise, not too much to complain about from him either. Garcia by himself in the corner. That's a two if it's good and it's not. Ward pulled down by Hibbert. Westbrook pulls up and misses. You just see the, the horrible shooting numbers for Russell Westbrook, and he has yet to find any relief as we are nearing the end of the third quarter. Here's Brown pulling up from mid-range. He can't convert. Ranger can't knock it down, and the pass ahead to Brown, he almost loses it, but able to corral it. So Mexico City will have an offensive possession this go around with a little over four minutes left in the third. Out pops Brown, he'll pull up and knock down the jumper. Shannon Brown going to work here in his first game as a Mexico City Guerrero, and it's in front of the home crowd. 22,000 are able to be seated here get a word on attendance a little later but it's a full crowd here and they're witnessing Mexico City trying to pull away here slowly but surely it's an 11 point game so Williams cutting down the deficit Brown going in goes up blocked by Lou Will rebound by Westbrook Lou Williams goes in and slams it. One of the few times Lou Williams has been able to work his way into the paint. And he does it with authority and draws the foul. Lou Williams at the line. Full disclosure, I forgot the 6-1 man out of Atlanta, Georgia could dunk. Six man of the year last year with the Raptors. He'll be playing for the Lakers this coming season so he probably won't need that winter jacket this year in LA probably won't need an umbrella either Shannon Brown has just been going to work here in the third quarter they divided the points by half but we haven't even played the fourth quarter yet and he has 11 in this quarter Watson goes baseline, denied, rebound by Darius Miller. Darius Miller playing in Germany this upcoming season as Shannon Brown once again gets the floater. He has 18 on 8 of 11 shooting, including 13 in a quarter that's not even over yet. Ball over to Granger, pulls up for the, from the elbow and knocks it down. So 17 points for Danny Granger very quietly. There was a time when he was a focal point of the offense, and that was in Indiana. But now he's getting into the later parts of his career where he's contributing where he can. Spent last season with Phoenix, or started with Miami, ended up in Phoenix. And now he'll sign with Detroit this year. In the meantime, Brandon Davies actually gets his first offensive looks of the game there. As he's able to lay it up and in. So just able to pile it on there here in the latter stages of the third quarter. Williams tries to fight his way inside and denied by Davies, gives Calderon the opportunity to steal and Smart able to finish the fast break off even though the Silver Stars were gaining on him there. He just needed a little time to close out on the layup. Wasn't gonna get a challenge there from Williams or Granger. Watson for three, cannot. Ball works its way back out to Ennis. Cross court Watson. Granger for three again. Knocks it down. Mm -hmm. 
Danny Granger, 3 of 3 from the outside. Hasn't been as boisterous as he was in the first half, but he's still been very serviceable. He's has five points here in the third quarter, which is closing out. We're under a minute. Smart, straightaway three. Cannot convert. Williams bringing it up the floor. Hands it off. Granger going to work. There he is. Now he has seven points here in the quarter. He's a little on the quiet side, but it looks like he's trying to wake up here as he brings Las Vegas within 10. Is this the momentum the Silver Stars need? Shannon Brown, who's been hot in this quarter, tries to get it to Darius Miller, and that deflects off of James Ennis, and he's not happy about it, but it deflected off his ankle. It's clear to see from the broadcast position I have here. 20 and a half seconds left in the third quarter. Get Ione back in the game here for Vegas. Griffin's back in the game for, or Griffin's back in the game for Vegas. Ione back in for Mexico City. Smart puts up the jumper and can't convert. So shot clock's off. Vegas pushing it up the floor. Here's Westbrook. Spin move, trying to go to work under the basket and cannot. Rebound by Miller. And here's the final seconds of the quarter. That'll do it here for the third. So after trailing by four at the end of the first and second quarter, the deficit has ballooned to 10, but can the Silver Stars make that big comeback against Mexico City here at home? We'll find out in the fourth here on the Coliseum Sports Network. Raymond Sims here from Mexico City Arena here in La Ciudad de Mexico, Distrito Federal. The capital city of Mexico, one of the largest cities in all of the world and the largest city in North America by far. 14 million inhabitants. That is a lot of traffic on the morning commute. I thought it was bad back in Chicago. Calderon missing the three to start off the quarter. Mexico City tasked with hanging on to a 10-point lead, which the Silver Stars have been within striking distance on multiple occasions, but just have not been able to make that turn to get out ahead of the Guerreros. Ion with it, the native son. One of the huge gets that Lawrence Booth really wanted here this summer for the Guerreros, Jorge Gutierrez. Who you may know as a Milwaukee Buck or a Brooklyn Net or a Cal Golden Bear. He's from Mexico. But the schedules just couldn't work out. Jorge trying to work out to lead into the season. So they just couldn't come to terms on an agreement here. And Gustavo Ayon deciding to sign on anyways. He'll be with Real Madrid this coming season as he was last year. Watson knifes his way through the lane, tries to open it up for Griffin and denied by Ion. Speaking of him, pass ahead here to Darius Miller, who's fouled on the Euro step, and James Ennis called for his third foul. He picked up two fouls in short order back in the first quarter. He's been able to stay out of trouble to an extent for most of the game, but he ends up picking, picking up his third here on Darius Miller. Darius Miller will be playing for Bros Baskets after starting off last year with the New Orleans Pelicans. He's one of those guys in the class of 2012 from Kentucky. Six guys went in the draft there, including someone you may know by the name of Anthony Davis. Now, Anthony Davis was somebody that the league themselves, not just any of the, of the eight member teams, was trying to get. Couldn't work out anything with him either, but they're going to see if they can get him next year. And if they can, this could definitely shape up to be an exciting league in 2016. Here's Williams, the long two, able to knock it down. 81-69. Ooh, Williams, he's put up a lot of shots, and he's come up with 18 points for his troubles. Actually shot pretty well, better than I had thought. 50% in the first half, still around average here in the second half. Actually still doing pretty well. 
He's smart with the ball, almost loses it, forces the issue, misses. Rebound by Williams. Here's the ball ahead to Granger. Williams has an opening underneath, and he can't convert. Sometimes there's such a thing as too open. Here's Scola able to float the shot in. Makes it 83-69. Missed and rebound by Ione. 83-69, a little over nine minutes left in the fourth quarter. Scola hanging around a little too long, so Griffin just steals it. Westbrook pulls up for three. And they're going to count it as a two, so his foot, his foot was on the line, and he finally breaks double digits. He's has a, had a very, very woeful shooting night. But he's still been able to pick up six assists in the process. Smart can't convert on the three. And almost loses the ball and into the hands still of the Silver Stars. And you see there the difference between the half. You can you almost expect it to happen. I mean, Smart was so hot in the first half, he had to cool down at some point. So he has 24. Only four here in the second half so far. We'll see if he can get going again or... He's about done for the day, and it'll be up to the other Guerreros to hold serve. Ball almost lost and collected there by the Guerreros, so they're able to hang on to it. Just saw that happen to the Silver Stars. Got to hang on to the ball there. Get some stick them if you need to. Smart, able to knock down the three. So he now, now has seven here in the second half. Granger able to respond with a three of his own. So it's not out of reach just yet. 25 points from Danny Granger. Still a 12-point game here. As Mexico City tries to hang on down the final stretch. 7-0-8 left here in the fourth quarter. The timeout is called by Lawrence Booth. 86-74 here on the Coliseum Sports Network. Yesterday we saw a battle in the Eastern Conference between two regional teams mere hours apart in Kansas City and Omaha. That was a great game. Be sure to check that out on the Coliseum Sports Network YouTube channel. But we're going to have another rivalry tomorrow. Battle for the Pacific Northwest, Alaska, taking on Seattle from Key Arena tomorrow on the Coliseum Sports Network. Just past the seven minute mark, Ione loses the ball and Vegas comes up with the possession. Handed off to Griffin. And his innocent pass to Williams almost lost. Williams able to collect it in the backcourt. But now only four on the shot clock. Gonna have to develop something quick. And Williams will just pull up for three. That's an air ball into the hands of Francisco Garcia. Marcus Smart trying to get past Williams. Kicks it back over to Garcia. Shot's no good. Rebound by Ione. Tries to hook it up with some contact. Can't convert. And we're halfway through the fourth quarter. So Mexico City having to hold on for so long. Las Vegas going to have to make that run right now. Russell Westbrook sails up and in for the jam. Going to need a few more of those, and they'll be back in it without a problem. Pressing here from full court. Maybe a little bit of a show press here. Do 
Rubio to Smart. Ion back up top, Rubio. Drives inside, no look pass back out to Garcia, who knocks down the three. He's had, a, he's had himself a rough shooting day, but at the same time, they haven't needed him as much. Garcia had 14 points in the Seattle game as Westbrook's able to fight his way inside. So here comes fourth quarter Westbrook as he gets the steal off the inbound and knocks it down. It's back to a nine-point game. So Westbrook's starting to heat up here in the fourth quarter. Mexico City's going to have to be careful as they turn the ball over again. Scola overthrowing Rubio. All of a sudden, it seems like they're starting to hand the game back to Las Vegas here. Westbrook looks like he's ready to go. And he's going to take advantage of any opportunity. We'll see if he can get the rest of the Silver Stars involved. Almost lose the ball on that possession. Westbrook misses that shot. Rubio with the rebound. So they hold serve for at least that possession. Can they pull away? Not if they're going to keep turning it over like that. They'll say Granger was the last one to touch it there, so they actually get a reprieve. I thought Smart just uh, passed the ball and it ended up going out of bounds, but that's not the case there. So nine-point game. Ball inbounded to Garcia, who's on the baseline and ends up drawing the blocking foul on Danny Granger. Ion tries to get it into Rubio, deflected by Hibbert. So now here's Hibbert bringing it up the floor. There's Westbrook posting up. Ball is lost into the hands of Mexico City. Rubio going to take it on his own, lays it up and in. Under four minutes now. Westbrook trying to will his team back into this game. Stuck on the baseline. Gets it past Smart on the low block, able to convert. Going to press on defense. That has worked for them on a couple of occasions for Las Vegas. Smart taking on Williams. Going to have to force him to pass it into the front court and able to get it to Scola. That was a dangerous pass. Griffin's hand was right there. But they're able to challenge Scola's shot and Griffin able to come up with the rebound. Williams up top. Spin move inside, kickball violation. As one of those dribbles landed on Rubio's foot. Las Vegas will keep the ball. Three minutes even left here. Nine point game, 91-82. Timeout here. We'll step aside as well here on the Coliseum Sports Network. Mexico City looking to get the their first win of the season here on home soil while Las Vegas is looking to go 2-0. They still have a chance to get back in this. Hibbert gets around Ione, but can't finish the basket. Rubio tries to run down the clock, and not able to finish off. So now there's Westbrook rushing into the lane. Gets it to Griffin underneath. And he's able to draw the foul on Scola. So Griffin's going to go to the line here. Crucial free throws. 219 left in the fourth. Mm. 
This is the first free throw. Griffin did not go to the line against Alaska. Even though he was still able to amass 16 points and 12 rebounds in the process. Able to knock down the second. So it's an eight-point game, 219 left in the fourth. Vegas playing full court D. Rubio trying to fight his way inside while also running down the clock. Here's Smart for the long two. Can't convert. One thing to run down the clock, but you got to finish the shot because there's still a window of opportunity here for the Silver Stars. Even though that window is slowly closing, Griffin able to get the second chance points. Smart gets the ball in the corner, still able to get past Lou Williams at least somewhat and can't get past him far enough. Pressing defense by Lou Williams forces Marcus Smart out of bounds with 138 left in the fourth quarter. Almost a packed house here in the 22,000 seat Mexico City Arena on the north end of town. Cheering on their home Guerreros who wear orange and green at home, as you can see, and on the road wear black, orange, and light blue. Kind of hearkening to the differences in soccer kits that you see for their home uniform and away uniform might not always be the same. And the home side takes the ball. Garcia on the run. He'll pull up. Mid-range jumper's good. Back to an eight-point game here, under one and a half left in the fourth. The mathematical probability of a Silver Stars comeback is waning. Hibbert puts up his own baseline jumper. It's high arcing, but it is good. Back to six. Vegas not out of it yet. Full court defense here out of the, out of the Silver Stars. Marcus Smart able to get past Lou Williams this time. He had him hung up on the sideline last time. Now here's Rubio in the post. Goes up, draws the foul. Can't knock down the shot, but that's not new today for Rubio, who's had a really rough day at the office on the offensive end. Even though he's been able to dole out a lot of assists. These two free throws could pretty much put it away. And he can't hit the first one. Because at this point, with one minute and one second left in regulation, it's still only a two-possession game. A three, a stop, and then another three could tie it up for Las Vegas. And Mexico City could end up in another overtime. And a second overtime in two games, coupled with the fact they have to go back up to Alaska for their third game. Talk about loss of fatigue. Westbrook missing the shot on... The offensive end and now it's under a minute so this might just do it here smart running down the clock the silver star is going to let him do it so this is looking like it's going to be a guerrero's victory here time running down smart puts up the three can't convert so here's granger and this looks like this may be the last chance for the silver stars to score get anything going lou williams instantly puts up the three can't convert Rebound by Ion, and that seems like it'll be ball game. 94-87 here. And there you have it, Mexico City getting their first win of the season. Las Vegas getting their first loss of the season, 94-87. A lot of rough shooting nights, but in the end, it leads to a win for MXC. So they'll head their separate ways. Mexico City on the way to Alaska. Vegas will wear their silver home uniforms for the first time next week. We're glad that you could join us for today's matchup.